that's Candace and Mr. Petfoot and Minnie. Give me a kiss. Oh, you already did. Haven't had a nap. I'm tired. Don't feel good. Benadryl, kick him a butt. There you go. So, um, we're going to do a clockwork orange themed haul. The second time I'm having to shoot it because I the microphone's plugged into the video camera and then I forgot to turn it on. So, um, I made the video but there's no sound so we're filming it again. But, I already know what everything is anyway so I'm not missing much. So, as I said in my previous video, um, this is a band that I used to listen to back in the day. It is a a punk band called the Templars. What are you doing? That's okay. I'm going to get you like a big pillow. That feels good. My back was hurting. Um, a punk band called the Templars. Um, but I haven't kept up with bands in years and years and years. So I did not even know this existed. Um, this vinyl record is <laughs> amazing. It is called the Clockwork Orange Horror Show. And if you're on my personal Facebook page, you've already seen this. Ah. Let it go. And these were limited to a thousand. Um, this picture disc is amazing. I'm I don't have a turntable at the moment, but plan on getting one soon. Um, but I wouldn't play this just because I don't play picture disc. There's two amazing to do that to. But this thing's just freaking amazing. I'm into like punk and, and horror punk and rockabilly, psychabilly, stuff like that. So this is really cool. It was a really awesome find. Um, this was from, I believe in 95. Yeah, that's a long time ago. So to still to find something like this. That, that's pretty awesome. But because I don't want to play it even when I do get a turntable, I also got the two CDs. Um, the one that's open has six songs. The one that's still sealed um, has a seventh song, but they're identical. But I'll still probably open the sealed one because I got to listen to. Uh, that's the one with the seventh song. And it's the same as the vinyl record. And they're identical aside from the one song. Then, um, as you know, I get a lot of stuff from House of Mysterious Secrets. Um, they're a really awesome site. And I got an email a while back that they had some Clockwork Orange items. My hair's just insane today. Um, they had some Clockwork Orange things. So I jumped on that immediately. Cause this one hair is freaking out of control. Um, I just had to jump on them. So the first thing I got is a metal sign. And all this Clockwork Orange stuff they had was just like ridiculously cheap. So, um, that was definitely a plus. So they had this. And they got this metal sign from the Ludovico treatment. So those are really awesome. And then going honk with the 
metal theme. Oh, God. My back's killing me, Boo Bear. Wait, thanks for the help. But they had this really awesome Clockwork Orange lunchbox. Same design on both sides. It's on the side, like the sign. This is just awesome. I took this to uh, Days of the Dead with me. It rode around in my little my little uh, cart that all my stuff in. And this what this was like my purse uh, for the weekend. And it still got all my stuff in it from the con. Then they had these uh, buttons. I don't so much collect buttons anymore because you know I have a bit of an enamel pin problem. Um, but they had these, and of course I had to have them because it's Clockwork Orange. Those are awesome. Come on, stop being blurry. There you go. Then... Speaking of enamel pins, this came all the way from London to be in my pin collection. It's so tiny, I'm scared of losing it, but I love it. Then um, I got this enamel pin from the Dab Lounge. Any glitters? Those. Then, oh, this is also from um, House of Mysterious Secrets. Clockwork Orange. Playing cards. That's really awesome. I love playing cards. So, finding Clockwork Orange ones, that's awesome. Then the last thing in our Clockwork Orange haul is this um, UK limited edition import um, still book. I just got into still books and um, this is one of the first ones I got last month. Had it for a while. I have a um, region free blu-ray player so I'm like into these um limited edition still books from like out of the the UK that's the front and the back is beautiful I did not even know that was on there until I first opened the back This thing is just gorgeous. I love it. Um, you'll be you'll be seeing it again very soon um, when I do my um, still book haul video. So I got a lot sitting on the shelf that um, that I just got. So. So that is it for this um, Clockwork Orange haul video. I still have a, a few other Clockwork Orange items that are coming in. I think a couple more from House of Mysterious Secrets. I've got a couple other items that I just I cannot believe I'm about to have in my collection. My mind is like just still trying to process that. Um, I'm just so excited. Um, but I have a few Clockwork Orange things coming. I'm really excited about that. But that's it for this haul video. Up. Uh, one biscuit. Get off me. Move. 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 
I have to kill the dog. Oh! Here. See, look what you're doing. See, if you behave, we wouldn't have this problem. Sit. You're getting hair all over my Snape shirt. What we tell everybody? Say like, like, comment, subscribe, high five, and click that little notification bell in the description box below when you want to be notified when we have new content on our channel. Fist bump. Yeah. And that's it for us. Bye.